In the early days of the internet, there were four websites. There was Bing, Ask Jeeves, and whatever website um, fan fiction was posted on. Honestly, DeviantArt, but I don't give enough of a shit to check. And those websites paved the way for what we, what we look at today as the cream of the crop content. You know, everyone says nowadays, I'll bing it, you know, fucking... Great times, but fan fiction itself has also come a long way, you know, and the original fan fiction has paved the way for the Fifty Shades of Greys and the Brony fan club community, that's the word. But one fan fiction stood above all the others as possibly the greatest work of any fiction ever. This was the infamously shitty Harry Potter story <clears throat> full of goths and Satan and vampires and other dumb, really dumb shit known as my immortal. And so today I figured we'd delve into the olden days and find out what the fuck happened to fan fiction. In voices, obviously. Hello, my name is Patrick Warburton and I'll be your narrator for today. Okay. Chapter 1. Author's Note. Special thanks, get it, because I'm gothic, to my new, to my GF. Ew, not in that way. Raven, Bloody Tears 666, for helping me with the story and spelling. You rock, Justin. You're the love of my depressing life. You rock too. MCR rocks. Okay. In the actual story. Hi, my name is Epney Darkness Dementia Raven Way. And I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. With purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid back, and icy blue eyes, like a limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me that I look like Amy Lee. Author's note. You don't know who she is. Get the hell out of here! I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was. Because he's a major fucking hottie. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch. And I go to magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I'm in the seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell. And I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic and buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no stop. Which I was very happy about, being a vampire and all. A lot of preps stared at me. I put up my middle finger at them. Hey, Ebony. Shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing. He said shyly. But then, I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. Author's nut. Is it good? Please, tell me, thanks. Chapter 2. Thanks to Bloody Tears 666 helping me with the chapter. BTW perhaps stop flaming my story, okay? On to the story. The next day I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door to my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black ebony, and inside it was a hot pink velvet, with black lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin, and took of my giant MCR t-shirt, which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears, and put my hair in a kind of a messy bun. 
My friend Willow, author's note Raven, this is you, woke up and then grinned at me. She flipped her long, waist-length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She put on a Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini, fishnets, and pointy high-heeled boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. OMFG. I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday. She said excitedly. Yeah? So? I said, blushing. Do you like Draco? She asked as we went out of the slittered gown room and into the great hall. No, I so fucking don't. I shouted. Yeah, right. She exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. Hi. He said. Hi. I replied, flirtily. Guess what? He said. What? I asked. Fucking goddamn it. Well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade. He told me. Oh. My. Fucking God. I screamed. I love GC. They're my favorite band. Besides MCR. Well, do you want to go with me? He asked. I gasped. <gasps> Chapter 3. Author's note. Stop flamming the story, preps, okay? Otherwise, fangs to the gothic people for the good reviews. Fangs again, Raven. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't own this or the lyrics for Good Charlotte. On the night of the concert, I put on my black laced up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. I put on matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair, made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slipped one of my wrists. <laughs> so unexpected. I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding. Then I listened to some GC. I painted my nails and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood. So I was ready to go to the concert. I forgot who was a vampire. Fucking. I went outside. Draco was waiting here in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. Author's well, note. A lot for cool boys were it, okay? <laughs> Hi, Draco! I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony. He stepped back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes. The license plate said 666. And flew to the place with a concert. On the way, we listened to, excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. When we got there, we hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. And there's good Charlotte lyrics. <clears throat> You're coming cold. You're covered in blood. They're all so happy you've arrived. The doctor cuts your cord, hands it to your mom. She sets you free into this life. Thank Joel. I don't own the lyrics to that song. Joel is so fucking hot. I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung. Filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly... Draco looked sad. What's wrong, Draco? I asked as we moshed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you. I said. Really? Asked Draco, sensitively. And he put his arm around me, all protective. Really? Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. I fucking hate that little bitch. I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. The night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. 
After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joe for their autographs and photos with them. We got GC concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz. But Draco didn't go back to Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into the Forbidden Forest. <clears throat> Chapter 4. Author's note. I said stop flaming, okay? Ebony's name is Anobi, not Mary Sue, okay? Draco is so in love with her that he is acting different. They knew each other before, okay? Draco, what the fuck do you think you're doing? I shouted. Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car and he walked out of it. I walked out of it too, curiously. What the fucking hell? I asked angrily. Ebony, he asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close, and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts. Which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness. And then suddenly, I didn't feel mad anymore. And then, suddenly, just as I, Draco, kissed me passionately. Draco climbed on top of me, and we started to make out keenly against a tree. He took of my top, and I took of his clothes. I even took of my bra. Then he put his thingy into my you-know-what, and we did it for the first time. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> I screamed. I was beginning to get an orgasm. We started to kiss everywhere, and my pale body became all warm. And then... What the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? It was Dumbledore! Good gravy. This is a shit story. Chapter 5 What's a good voice to do for a big titty goth GF? I got it, okay. Dr. Neocortex.